Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how to remove your back door panel off a, this is a 1990 Accord. It should be the same for uh, 90 through 93's. Um, this particular model has power windows. It's going to be slightly different if you don't have power windows. Um, but anyway, so if you have power windows this video is for you. And uh, let's see. I, I just, when I shoot these videos I just do them. And so you want to watch the whole videos because if I make a mistake I'll fix it at the end. Um, but anyways, let's get started here. So first thing, well not necessarily first thing, but I'm going to pop out this panel here. And underneath there, there's a screw that you need to take out. Right over here, there's a screw you need to take out. And I think that's about it. Yeah, so we're going to take those two screws out there. Uh, let me get the video on a stand so I can use both hands there. All right, hopefully that's a decent camera angle for you. I'm just gonna get a little uh, cheap, small screwdriver here. And it's pretty cold. It actually works better if the door panels are warm. And essentially, I'm just gonna have to work my way around this. But since it's so cold, the plastic is pretty brittle. So I'm going to take this really slow. If it was warm, it would pop out a lot easier. Um, so I'm just going to pause it, and then I'll show you when I get it popped out. All right, I want to show you a little trick I do. I get my uh, silicon spray. I like the C CRC brand. And you just spray a little bit in there. Kind of work it in. And then on this side, you can pry down. And actually, if you pry up, it helps rock it out too. Then swing around on this side and try to get underneath that lip and then you can pry this way see there it comes there you go and that helps it out this is what that part kind of looks like so you can't see what you're dealing with it's just got little, two little ribs there and a cap on it anyway let me swing around over here see and there's a screw right down there just going to take that out that's just a Phillips screwdriver, just a Phillips screw. And I, I forgot my magnet. Oh, actually, I might have it here. There you go, just get yourself a little magnet, get your screw out, okay next, you know, work on that door there, I don't think I can do it without getting in your way, but we'll give it a try. So, I'll give myself a little bit more work here. Now, these doors will either slide to the front or the back, and I can never remember which way it is. So you just want to gently do it. Actually, before I get to the sliding part, I forgot I gotta pop the door panel clips, and uh, let me get back here so you can watch me do that. I like to use a door panel or a you know, panel tool. This helps out a lot. And, uh, again, it's cold. I wish it wasn't cold. If you can warm this car up in a garage or something, it would make this a whole lot easier.
Okay, a key on that is just knowing what you're dealing with and being gentle with it. Um, when I get it off, I'll show you what I was popping out uh, so you can do it with confidence. And it's easier to start along the bottom down here and find your first clip. And then we just kind of feel around for things holding up. I might not even have all the clips out, but we'll find out here in a second. Okay, I think we're ready to take that handle out. Actually, now that I think about it, might not have done that first, but this handle, it either gonna slide towards the front or to the back, so you just wanna gently feel for it. And there, you can see it. I just went for the front first, and it came out, and I guessed right. Let me zoom in here for you, see what I'm working on right now. Again, never wanna force anything, and I'll show you why here in a second. I think there's a bolt back there that I gotta take out first. And I was feeling resistance, so I quit working on the panel. See right here, it's got this U shape. So it makes sense that it locks in this way and you push it forward to get it out. And when I get this door off, I'll show you what that hooks into. But so the next piece we need to do is you got this little clip here. I don't know if this is showing up. Let me get it closer. See this is a little clip right there. I'm gonna zoom in because I can't tell if you can see it or not. And it's just a little plastic clip. You just actually because it's so cold. I'm going to hit it with some silicone first. And then I'm just going to take a screwdriver and you just push it 180 degrees around to the other side. And like I said before, when it's warmer, this stuff goes a lot easier. And I and the key is just don't force anything, especially when it's cold out. There, I got that 180 degrees to the front. Now, I'm just going to lift this bar out. There you go. So I got that out. You can see the clip's pretty good. Let me back up. See those clips right there? Don't want to break those off. You can probably see... I'll do it now just because I want you to get a good reference to where this is going to go into. Yeah, I'm going to freehand this so you can't get the stand down there. So right in there, um, you can see these little square holes. That's where those clips, the L-shaped clip went into. So next I'm going to take that Phillips screwdriver out. I'm going to pause this while I put it back on the stand. Okay, nothing too exciting going on here. I'm just taking a Phillips screwdriver. Taking that screw that I just showed you. Okay, now see how easy the door panel goes. Now I'm not going to let me zoom back out so you can watch me. I'm gonna, um, there's cables hooked on there. You can see the lights on. That light, I'm not sure what's going on with that. So you got your little door deal. When you push that, the light goes off. So, you know, i kind of let you watch me push it there. I hope that showed up on camera. That's why that light's on, so it's not that big of a deal. And, uh, but what I want to point out is, there's going to be a cable hooked to that light and a cable up near the door up there. So you got to watch for those as I take those off. So don't just yank the door off. You're going to yank it off and then squeeze the tabs and pull it off. And I'll show you when I'm done with those tabs I play.
Uh, here, let me show you this part. Let's see what's coming up on camera here. So, um, these clips here, they're just like this all the way around. They're just uh, little pushing ones. I like to spray these with silicone um, before I put them back on. That make it next guy be able to get them off easier. You can see they just wrote, go all the way around the edges here. Here's that bottom connector. This one's straight forward, and I'll show you that on the other end. This one's up here is backwards, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm just going to put the door panel away. Now you get in here and get some shots of these connectors for you. So on this one, you just squeeze the back. You just right there. It's kind of confusing trying to film this by myself. What the heck? Sorry about that. I wish I had a camera person. It's hard to zoom in and do it. Anyways, you squeeze the back tab on this and just pull it out. That one's straight forward. This other one is the backwards one. What I mean by that is if you have to uh, kind of like squeeze the front of it, if that makes sense or something. It doesn't have that back little doodad. I squeeze the front of it or lifted the front of it or something. You mess around with the front to pull it out. It doesn't have a nice little tab in the back. Yeah. Anyhow, so at this point you got your door panel off, and uh, when you go put it back on, if you're going to do some work on it, which I'm going to do work later on, but this video is mainly to show you how to get that door panel off. Um, the vapor barrier is pretty important, especially in a wet environment. Uh, just duct tape it back in if you have to. You could probably even get a sheet of plastic and cut something out if you needed to. But I used to just leave them off, but now I found more and more it's important to put those on. And the reason being is, um, see the carpet over there? I bet you that vapor barrier is missing and the water leaks in and causes the carpet to separate from the side panels. Anyhow, so that's it for how to take your door panel off. Hopefully that was uh, not too long-winded and explained, what, explained clearly what you need to do. If you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them there. And if you like this video, hit like. And if you want to see more like this, hit subscribe and you'll see them when they come out. Thank you for watching.